doubling kind of grows on you, doesn't it? Mm. Jeff seems very settled here. He was always a restless type. Well, he still is, a bit. I think if an opportunity came up, he would at least think about it. It'd have to be something pretty special. He loves Roar. Yes. But if something better came along... Better? Uh -huh. What could be better? I don't know. Do you have a plan, Pavel? What? You do? That's no. what you mean by opportunity. No. <laughs> Tell me, I won't say a word, I promise. Pavel. Well, actually, yes. Something has come up. A friend of my father's, he has this building in Prague, and he's made me an offer. If Jeff and I want to open a restaurant, he'll put up the money. Wow, that could be brilliant. Yes, it's twice the size of Rome. We could do very well there. But Jeff... Uh, oh, you haven't told him? Not yet. It's delicate. I have to find the perfect moment. Yeah. Should we grab a coffee? Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Right, there's going to be four or five others going for this, all right? They're going to be more experienced than you, OK? So they're going to try and talk the talk. They're going to try and psych you out, OK? I'll just keep to myself. Exactly. You are the dark horse, the mystery man, all right? They'll be thinking, who the hell is this guy? Yeah? Up. Gallo, the man himself, OK? Mr Humble, Mr Quiet, but don't be fooled. He likes to push himself to the very edge and he expects everyone to go with him, all right? You're going to need to show some real backbone. I will. I know you will. OK, what else? Um, chef... Why are you doing all this for me? Well, it's an investment in my future. Clearly, when you're a three-star chef, you will feel obliged to employ me. Because when I was in your shoes, Philip, I had someone who did the same for me. Thanks, chef. Pleasure. Right. Appearance. Let's go. Jojo, where are the steaks? You're choking me. You forgot to order them. I'll do it now. They're still open. Don't bother. I'll do it myself. That way, I know it'll actually get done. Sorry. Seriously, Jojo, this is getting past a joke. You need to get a grip. Shane, what's that? Sorry, Oli. Yeah, but there's something special about it, isn't there, mate? Let's separate it. Bingo. Now enlighten me. How can you possibly make an aioli and not notice that it's separating? I'm sorry, Chef. I must have got distracted. Sorry means nothing to me, mate. Do your job properly. Yes, Chef. All right, listen up, everybody, please. We are fully booked tonight, OK, with couples who want a magical, romantic evening. Yes, Jojo. Our role is to send out little exquisite delicacies to help oil the rusty wheels of love. Now that's not going to happen if we keep screwing up. So the next person that tells me they're sorry, bloody will be. You got it? Yes, Chef. Yes, Sea root. Ah, beautiful kit. At least someone's on it tonight. Okay, order in. Two mackerel, one castellan, one line of pork, please. Yes, sir. Had a nice walk with Pavel earlier. He's lovely. Yeah, he is. Exciting about Prague. What? Pavel's new restaurant. Are you ready? <laughs> well, I thought you knew. What are you talking about, Selena? Pavel's found a new space in Prague for a restaurant. In Prague? Better get these out. You think you'll be late tonight? Um, yeah, I've got a lot to do. Is everything okay? Uh, I thought it was, Pavel, but uh, maybe not. What? Well, Selena tells me that you're planning on opening a restaurant in Prague. It's just an idea, Jeff. Really? Selena says you've already picked the building. But I haven't committed to anything. Of course, I was going to speak with you first. Well, we're a couple, mate. These are the kind of things we need to plan together. You know how important Roar is to me? Yes, I do. And what? You expect me to drop everything? Walk out in Fiona? It's not going to happen, Pavel. No way. Oh, come 
on, we're falling way behind. Philip, can you fill in for Jojo, please? And then finish and clean up. You mustn't be late. Yes, yeah, chef. And a chili garlic corn, Shane. Karen, chef, I'm pleading too, Michael. Oh. Chef, I can do it. All right, show me what you got. Yes, sir. Okay, that's table three and that's table five, please. Fast. Okay, chef, I'm gone. Huh? Make me proud, Pip Squeak. Yes, chef. George, I'm sorry. You're some fucking idiot, aren't you? Think you're something special because you're doing this tryout. You can't even fry a bit of pancetta. You last about 10 minutes in Gallo's kitchen, they'll be laughing at you. The gobshed who thinks he can cook. Jojo! You should have run home with your daddy. Jojo! That's enough, please. Jojo, there's a packed restaurant out there. We could all hear you. you. Get back to work. All of you. You're right. Okay. Well, if he does pitch up, can you let me know, mate? Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, some gallows people. Philip didn't show up. Okay, we gotta face it, Jeff. Jojo's a serious problem. Yep, I know. I think she's been drinking today. She has. I smelled it. Mm. Jojo, who's here in the office, please? Take a seat, Jojo. Is this about the row with Philip? Okay. Let's take today for an example. You forgot to order the steaks. You brought substandard food to the pass. You argued with Jeff. You almost lost that ring. You lost complete control and you went for Philip. It's unacceptable. I know. I promise I'll do better. We've gone way past that, Jojo. Jeff and I have been talking and we've decided to let you go. What? Are you serious? We'll be fair, we'll pay you a month's notice. Wait, wait, wait a minute, can we just talk about this? It's a done deal, Jojo. Have you any questions? I can't believe you're doing this to me. I'm not. The heartbreaking thing is that you've done this to yourself. So that's it? That's it, Jojo.